What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fix it presents Legendary Gaming. Disappoint you, huh? You triggered my trap card. Not dice squared. <laughs> All right, I want to go over uh, playing this game, but first of all, I have to let you know that this game needs the base. Needs the base, not game dice in order to play. It's an expansion, not a standalone expansion. Now, Two Gun Pixie's already done a how-to play of not dice. I'll have the link down in the description. Yes, I know, I'm usually horrible at putting information in the description, but I will put the link in the description uh, for this. So why don't we talk about incorporating not dice squared into playing not dice. Now, the first thing I want to point out, that in the core game, they're all one type of dice. They're known as the crossed dice. And uh, they're all the same. All the sides, all the images, all the line work is the same for each dice, each of these dice here. Now, on the other hand, Not Dice Squared introduces three new types of artwork. They introduce the square, the rounded, and the bridge dice. Now, Not Dice and Not Dice Squared isn't just one game. The game book, it has several different games that you can play, and each of them have their own variations here and there, little changes uh, in the standard rules from one game to the other. So why don't we take a look at, uh, at, at a game or two, and I'll show you how it goes, and you should get the hang of it. So, the first game I'm going to take a look at is called Four Get Me Knots. The number four, Four Get Me Knots, K-N-O-T-S, very clever. Now, this is specifically a one-player game, and they list it as being about 15 minutes with a medium complexity. Now, for this game, you are going to need 18, all 18 of the cross dice from the original game. Now, along with that, you're going to use all the dice from Not Squared such as the nine squared dice, the nine rounded dice, and the nine bridge dice. Now, keeping the four sets of dice separated by each of their own respective sets, you're going to place them off to the side of the table, side of the playing area, leaving your center area where all the action is going to be taking place. Next, you're going to take the eight tokens that come with this game, and you're going to set them up on the table. So... When you have them set up, you're going to leave enough space underneath the tokens for the placement of the dice. And at this point, you're, you're ready to start playing the game, which is going to take the course over several rounds. Now, at the beginning of each of these rounds, you can select any four dice that you want from the pools. And then you're going to take turns, and you're going to do the following two actions. And that's what I got. So you're going to examine what the rolls are that you have. And then you're going to place at least one of the dice below any one of the tokens. Like so. Maybe this one right underneath it. I can add more dice to this. Now, since there's no end piece, I would continue to uh, grow this one out, such as placing this, you know what, maybe placing this one here, and then this one to connect, no, that doesn't connect. There we go. <laughs> you have to make sure that the lines all square up. 
<laughs> and then that could be placed right there. So you finish the first part and you get to repeat again. Now, let me just point out that if no dice could have been placed, then I would have discarded one of the dice out of the game and then started my turn all over again. But that didn't happen, so let's leave that right there. Now, the game is going to continue turn by turn, and you're going to continue with the choosing of the pool and the rolling of the dice and the placing underneath one of the tokens. So, here we have, as best as I was able to do, I have three dice left over that I cannot make anything with, leaving one undone. So I'm going to score seven points out of eight, one for each of these, and hey, that's not bad, considering that I'm, uh, the concept of this, of uh, forget-me-nots, is that I am collecting different flowers into a bouquet to present to the loved one before I go sailing across the ocean. The eight new games to play in Not Dice Squared is not the only thing you can do. You also get a chance to incorporate Not Dice Squared into the original Not Dice games, such as Kells, the book. Here, let me show you. The Book of Kells, indeed. So this is a cooperative version of the game. And the concept behind it is that you are illustrators creating many pages for a new manuscript. So you're going to start the game as the other one. You're going to have the dice divided by their categories off to the side. And then at that point, after you have that all set up, then each player is going to get to choose two dice from the pool. And they're going to immediately roll them. And uh, there's my starting roll. Hmm, let's see what happens now. Maybe I would like to start with, sort of design with this one right here, let's say. Keeping this one off to the side in my pool. And now if you're playing this cooperatively instead of alone, then the next player or players would likewise do the same thing as they would take their dice, they would roll them to see what they have, and then they would try to add them on combining them, keeping their own pool, combining them with what you've already put down. And you're going to be growing, you're going to be growing your knot cooperatively. Now, as I said, you are able to put in multiple dice. So let's say on another roll, I want, I did a roll and I got this and I wanted to start that right here. Now, normally this doesn't connect, but since it's going to be starting a brand new line, then there is the connection that you're looking for between the designs. You just continue to uh, roll on your turn and try to place the dice in order. Now remember, as per the standard rules for the game, when you do roll a die, you can maneuver it around. You can't flip it, but if you need to, you can change its positioning. And that's going to go back and forth until you finish the design, as I said. And then you're going to get to the scoring part of the game. To score your game, you're going to count the number of dice in your completed design and subtract the longest dimension of that design for your score. Now, another beautiful thing I love about Not Dice and Not Dice Squared is it's not just the games you get to play, but they also have completely different puzzles. Now, I went over completion puzzles in the two-gun review for Not Dice Squared, and I want to also point out that that's not the only kind of puzzles there are. There's many different types, and each one will advance what you are able to do, such as completion puzzles level two, then you are able to, just as you were originally, you could swap corner pieces out with each other. Now, you don't turn them, you don't change them. That is just a swap. You can also choose to translate and translate one end to the other like so. Now that's completion puzzles one. Completion puzzles two also give you the option to rotate the die. And you're going to be using this combination of swap, translate, and rotate for the completion puzzles level two. And then you will continue to translate and to swap and to rotate until you're able to get the puzzle together. 
swap, translate, and rotate. Eventually, you will be able to fix the design and see exactly what it is. You will solve the puzzle and end up having a beautiful not work design. So with the base games 12 and squared, the expansion squared's another six, that is a total of 18 different games that you're going to be playing with these two sets. Seven, seven, seven different puzzles in the base game, and we have another eight in the expansion. A total of 15 different puzzles to keep you busy. Now, this gives a lot of gameplay, as you can see. So there's a simple update to the How to Play Not Dice uh, with the expansion Not Dice Squared. Uh, please go check out our original How to Play Not Dice, and combining the two together, you're going to have a great time at the table with this.